Hey everyone, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at the GPS unit and see how it connects to the flipper and then also use a logic analyzer to inspect the data. Okay, so on the flipper, we're using the black wire to go between ground and the ground of our logic analyzer. We're using another black wire to go between the other ground and the ground pin on our GPS. We're using the 3.3 volt out go through the red wire into the V in of our GPS. And then we're using the orange wire for the output of the flipper, the TX line. And that's going into the RX line on the GPS to receive. And then we're using the indigo wire for input into the flipper, which is in the RX pin. And that goes to the TX of our GPS. So the GPS is perspective, it's transmitting. And in the flipper's perspective, it's receiving. And then we also are using that same indigo to indigo on our logic analyzer and orange to orange on our logic analyzer. So let's go ahead and flip over to the application. Okay, this is Pulse View, which is the application used by the logic analyzer. So you can see that currently we're running 1 million total samples at 20,000 samples a second. I'm going to actually increase that to 50,000 samples a second and 5 million samples. So we're at 5 million and 50. And then over here you can see here's that orange wire which is the output of our flipper which is the TX pin that's going into the RX of the GPS and then the indigo line which is the input the RX of our flipper it's going to the TX of our GPS. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and run a sample. And I'm using the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And so you can see that there's a pulse about every second and go ahead and stop that. Great. So we have those pulses. I'm going to go ahead and hide the QFlipper app now because we don't really need to look at that right now. We can see though the latitude is at 33 and the longitude is negative 80. Okay, so I'm going to use the scroll wheel and zoom in. And so now we can see that on that flipper input line, which was the TX pin of our GPS. It was 3.3 volts and then it dropped down to zero and then it stayed zero and then it was 3.3 and then zero. And then, so you can see these pulses. Um, with this application, you can zoom in, see markers, measure the distances of these pulses and stuff. But one of the really nice features is you can go into the coder. And so it has a bunch of different protocols. It knows already that it can decode like one wire, seven segment displays, etc. We're going to use UART. Okay, so it says there are no channels assigned to this decoder. So we're going to go click on UART and assign a channel. So in this case, I'm going to use it from the flipper's perspective, but you could do the GPS perspective if you prefer. So on the flipper's perspective, the receive line is D7 and the transmit line is D3. Our baud rate is 9600 for the GPS unit. Our data bits is 8, our parity is none, and we have one stop bit. We also want to make sure that we are in LSB, least significant bit first, not MSB. So you see how this is like E20A? But if you do LSB, it's like 47 and 50. So that's more of what we're looking for. We're going to switch it to ASCII so we can see the character representation of the different values. And there we go. Okay, so we started. 3.3 volts, and then we drop down to ground, and this is our start bit right here. So when we go from 3.3 to ground, that's the start. And then 
every bit after that, it'll take a sample depending on the baud rate is how frequent it's going to take that sample. So this is a high, this is a low, this is a low, this is a high, this was a low, and this was a low. So it's going to take that sample kind of in the middle. And then this was our stop bit goes back up to 3.3. .3. And then this is technically that end. And then we started the next byte of data. So again, we had that start bit and then our data. And so that hopefully shows you kind of how a byte is assembled together. And so that's how it works. And in this case, this first byte is an anagram you can see. So it's it's zero, zero, and then one, one, and zero, zero. So even if your LSB, MSB are swapped, you're gonna still see that dollar sign. After it, the next character you should see is a G coming off a GPS. If you're seeing something else, it's probably because you forgot to do the swap. And we can see, I'm not gonna to get too far into the protocol, but we can see that we were at 33 North and 80 West. So West would be negative. So negative 80 and positive 33. That was our GPS location that was being sent. Um, we can do another video where we actually deep dive into the code of what's the actual data being sent. But I just kind of wanted to show you how you can use a logic analyzer to understand that data that's getting sent between your device and your flipper. Um, and it can help troubleshoot. If we had seen the same data, but it was on the D3 line, that would have indicated that our RX and TX wires or swapped because maybe we connected RX to RX instead of RX to TX like you're supposed to. Um, so anyway, so this is a very helpful tool to let you kind of inspect under the covers what's, what's happening for a variety of protocols. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in buying the logic analyzer. This one I have is really inexpensive. I have another one that's a lot more expensive. Um, but I think this, this one does the job fine. Uh, the probes that come with it do require that you have a soldering iron. So if you don't have a soldering iron, you have to buy one of those. Uh, but a lot of the sensors you buy come with the header pins not soldered. So it's generally a good idea to get a soldering iron and, and kind of watch some YouTube videos and brush up on soldering skills if you don't already have those. So anyway, um, hopefully this video was helpful and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.